Hello and welcome to another yoga YouTube video with me. For you who don't know me, my name is Matt. I'm in Dubai and we are about to do yoga together. Today's flow will be very slow flow, so you can do it in the morning if you had a lazy slow morning and you just need to stretch your body to get your body moving, you're just going to crawl out of the bed and start. Or if you are tired after all day working or busy day, you can do it in the evening as well, nicely stretching your body, get your body moving and slowly getting into bed. So Whatever it is, whatever time you're doing it, we are ready, let's begin. So I'm going to ask you to find a comfortable sitting position. I'm sitting cross-legged, you can sit like this. You can put pillows under you if your hips are too tight, or you can sit on your heels, whatever works. You can rest your palms on your knees, closing your eyes, and just finding a moment of stillness. Just take it few seconds of stillness here, breathing in and breathing out, just breathing through your nose, deep inhales and deep exhales, try to breathe into your belly so with every inhale blow up your belly like a balloon. Every exhale, flatten your belly, suck your belly button towards the spine. You can put a hand on your belly, just feel the belly expanding with every inhale. Slowly going down with every exhale. Just a couple of more breaths like this, on your own, breathing in and breathing out. And with every exhale, I'll ask you to focus on your shoulders, drop your shoulders a little bit lower, relax your shoulders, feel free to shake them. Relaxing your jaw, your eyelids, your eyebrows, all these spaces where we hold lots of tension. Just feel the floor beneath you. The gravity pulling you down. Good. You can keep your eyes closed. Make sure your palms are resting on your knees. And start slowly circling your head any direction. To the right or to the left. Starting with small circles. And going bigger each time. You can reach the moment when your chin is crushing your chest. And your ears are getting closer and closer to your shoulders. At the same time, you're pulling the shoulders down. And again, as I said, it's a very slow flow, so very slow circles. To one side. And if you haven't yet, you can change the direction of the circles going to the other side and just pay attention to all the movement happening in your neck maybe all the cracking all the stretching all the tightness you can feel in your neck the whole time pulling the shoulders down and just enjoying this gentle slow movement of your neck of your head good now, if you want, you can open your eyes or you can keep them closed, whatever works for you. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your head, put the hands behind your head, pushing the elbows open, taking a deep inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades together, looking up. And exhale, putting elbows together, rounding the back, chin comes to the chest, and elbows come as close as you can towards your belly button. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, closing down. Try to suck your belly button towards the spine, creating a little bit more space. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Nice and slow. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. We'll go one more time. With inhale, you open, look up. 
squeeze the shoulder blades, hold it there, push the elbows away from each other. And exhale, close it down. Hold it here for a little bit. Make sure you're tucking your chin towards the chest. Elbows coming as close as you can towards the belly button. Hold. Take a few deep breaths in here. And you stay where you are. You're going to open your hand, put them on the floor. And you're going to walk your fingertips forward as far as you can so your legs stay cross legged. If they were not cross legged until now, you're going to cross leg them, cross them, cross leg them. <laughs> nice one. Okay. And you're walking your fingertips slowly, very gently forward. Make sure your sitting bones are staying on the floor. And only once you reach the maximum, you put your palms on the floor. And relax your head. Relax your neck, dropping your head down. Taking a few deep breaths in here. Making sure your head is relaxed. So maybe your forehead can touch the floor. Maybe not. Maybe just hanging in the air. Whatever it is. Stay in there. If your hips are as tight as mine, you might feel them. That's good. You don't need to push or pull. Literally just relax in here. Good. One last deep inhale in here. And with the exhale slowly coming up. Good. And you will slowly lie down on your back. All the way on your back. Bringing your knees towards your chest. Good, your head can rest on the floor. Nice. Your knees are on your chest. Good. Now, bring your palms to the floor. Palms are pushing to the floor, knees are together. And you will slowly circle them from side to side, like this. They come close to the floor and come back to the chest. Close to the other side. And open and close. Big circles to one side, enjoying gentle stretch of your lower back. Good. One more time. And we circle to the other side. Same thing. The knees are going closer to the floor. Nice. Good. One more circle. And they come back to your chest. You're gonna move a little bit up. Good. You stay where you are. Let your right knee stay at your chest. Open your left leg all the way to the floor. Your leg comes to the floor. Good. Nice. Now you pull your right knee towards the chest. And your left hand is gonna take your right knee all the way to the left hand side for a twist. Your right palm stays open. And take it only as far as your body allows you to. Good. For me, my knee is not touching the floor, it's still in the air. That's good. Okay. And if it feels good, your head will turn to the right. And taking a few deep breaths in here. Try to suck your belly button towards the spine, creating a little bit more space for the twist. Nice. Now we can either stay here, if this is already a lot, or if you can, you will straighten your right knee and grab your right toe or right foot with your left hand. Ooh, my hamstrings are tight so I can barely do it, but you do it. Nice. You do it for whatever works. Nice. And again, still, if it feels good, your head is going to turn to the right. Stay here for a little bit. Couple of more breaths. Breathing in. And breathing out. Nice. And slowly bringing the knee back to your chest. Good. Now you will lift your left knee. Your left heel will come to the floor, push the floor. 
and your right ankle comes on top of your left thigh like this flexing the toes towards the right knee good palms come to the floor head come on the floor and you will push the hips open push the hips up at the same time pushing right knee towards the floor just like this nice oh that was my hip if you heard the crack nice holding it there keep pushing the left heel to the floor nice starting a little bit more intense poses good okay holding it there again option one you stay here hold it there if this is already too much option two you lift right leg off the floor pushing oh right foot towards the ceiling nice hold in there good hold it for three two one and bringing your right knee towards your chest lifting the hips as high as you can hold bringing the knee towards the chest as much as you can hold for three for two and one slowly lower down nice that was crack was my knee this time very nice cracking my firewood ah oh, good and bringing the knees again towards your chest amazing good just gonna switch the sides i'm already sweating if you haven't done anything yet <laughs> that's just showing how much i practice right all right this time opening your right leg all the way towards the floor bringing left knee towards your chest nice pull it towards the chest good and you can take your right hand and pull your left sorry i just have to adjust my mic and pull the left knee towards the right hand side nice good you can open your left arm this time towards the left if it feels good turning your head to the left i want to say the left head to the left it works as well and take a few deep breaths in here as well Deep inhales, deep exhales. Again, just like before, sucking your belly button towards the spine. Create a little bit more space for the twist. Try to relax in the pose. You don't have to really pull or push the knee. Just hold it in space with your hand, with your right hand. And relax and let the gravity do the job for you. Again, option one, stay here if this is already a lot. Option two, I cannot really do it there is a window and a wall i'm trying just extending the knee oh, i cannot all right <laughs> extending it grabbing it with the right hand just like before on the other side and holding it there again couple of more breaths in there good one last deep breath in here slowly coming back to the center and this time bending right knee right heel pushing to the floor taking left ankle on top of your right hip uh, right thigh flexing left toes towards the knee pushing the palms to the floor the heel comes close to you right heel comes close to the butt and pushing the hips up nice at the same time pushing the left knee towards the floor opening the hip good nice hold keep pushing the hip open keep pushing up nice and now again option one you staying here if this is already too much option two lifting left foot and pointing it towards the ceiling lifting the hips even higher make sure you're pushing the right heel towards the floor good hold for three for two one bending the left knee and bringing it as close as you can towards the chest towards your face lifting the hips even higher hold again for three breathe for two and one slowly lower down good good job everyone and good job me bending the knees bringing them towards the chest and you can rock slowly from side to side if it feels good you can hug the knee very strongly nice and just rock from side to side amazing good deep inhales deep exhales good all right 
you keep the knees where they are and you will just take the feet all the way up support your lower back and taking your legs all the way behind your head so you can keep your legs your knees straight pointing the toes flexing the toes towards you and taking the legs as far as you allow it you good see even i don't think i can touch the floor maybe i can no, not really my hamstrings are very tight I haven't practiced properly in a while so we'll just stay hanging here in the air if you can touch the floor good amazing if not just stay where you are <sighs> again deep inhales deep exhales and slowly maybe feel how we can go a little bit lower good again even in here when you stack your belly button towards the spine create a little bit more space you can go a little bit deeper nice good all right this time you'll bend your knees open your legs a little bit and bring your knees next to your ears good still feel free to support your lower back with your palms with your fingers and try to relax even in this pose however uncomfortable it might seem trust me it's quite uncomfortable to talk in this pose but Oh, impossible as you can see I feel like my voice sounds different here good a few more breaths in here nice and you can slowly bring your backs all the way to the floor so roll it all the way to the floor keeping the knees bent and your chest slowly nice good hugging your knees again and you can start rocking forward backwards forward backwards massaging your back against the floor all the way into the sitting you're gonna cross your legs again and just like before walking your fingertips slowly forward maybe you can go a little bit deeper this time walking them forward and resting the palms on the floor Again, making sure the sitting bones are still touching the floor. And relaxing your neck, dropping your head down. Maybe even your elbows can come down. Good. And a couple of breaths in here. As I said, it's a very slow flow. We are here just to relax, just to slowly wake up the body or slowly prepare the body for sleep. Whatever works for you whatever time of the day you are practicing one last deep inhale and deep exhale in here good okay slowly raise up your palms can stay on the floor this time you will walk <sighs> you're gonna step into all fours so tabletop your palms pushing to the floor knees are hip distance wide knees are just below the hips you can push the toes to the floor good palms are below the shoulders shoulder distance apart all neutral spine okay I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see what's happening so we will start with the left leg so toes are pushing to the floor and you lift the left knee up flexing the toes towards the knee good and extending the knee straightening the knee hold it there good hold five four lift a little bit higher three two and one slowly drop it down to the floor good gripping the floor with your toes you can slowly lifting up pushing the hips forward nice i'm just gonna go on this side so you can raise your palm on your knee or your thigh take your right hand pushing it all the way up and leaning to the left hand side nice yes exhale go a little bit deeper back to the center 
pace you to the other side so right palm comes down reaching your left arm over your head imagine somebody's pulling you pushing the hips forward still good and you will lift your leg up hold option one you stay here option two if you have enough balance if you feel strong enough you will bend your left knee grab your left ankle or left foot behind your back with your left hand and kick the foot towards the palm open the chest good a little back bend tilt your head if it feels good hold keep kicking the foot towards the palm nice hold one last deep breath Okay, you'll place left foot on the floor and you will bring right foot in between the palms left knee comes to the floor untucking the toes good nice and you can just swing your hips side to side forward backwards just prepare the hips for a little bit more stretching nice Okay, now your palms come on top of your right knee, toes are untucked, and we lift the left foot off, left knee off the floor, just like this, supporting yourself with palms, hold. If it feels strong enough, your hands can come off the knee, and just holding it in the air, sink your hips lower, nice, your right knee can come more forward, sinking the hips low, hold, for three, wherever you are two and one dropping the knee slowly on the floor you're gonna walk your right foot a little bit more right to the right and you can open the knee more and walking your palms forward good as far as you can as far as your body allows you this side for me is quite open so I can go on my elbows if you can as well it's fine if not you can stay here just make sure you're sinking the hips low the whole time nice Good. Hold it there for a little bit. Again, deep inhales, deep exhales. Keep breathing the whole time. Enjoy the stretch. Try to not fight it. Try to really enjoy it. Good. And slowly push up. Good. Stay still here. Left palm stays on the floor, right palm pushes the right knee open. You can come on edge of the right foot. Good. Open your chest to the right. Good. If this is already too much, you'll stay here. If not, you can bend your left knee, grab your left foot with your right hand, pull it towards the butt and sink the hips low. Nice. Hold in there. Keep pulling the foot towards your butt and keep opening the chest to the right. Hold for three, for two, and one slowly, very slowly, very gently release. Nice. Foot comes back to the floor and you tuck the toes in. Both palms come to the floor lifting your right foot all the way into three-legged downward facing dog push it towards the ceiling deep inhale and exhale step your right foot next to the left palm like this edge of the foot right knee comes next to the right palm left knee comes down untucking the toes coming to the pigeon pose so if your hips are very tight like mine you can stay here keep flexing right toes towards the right knee hold it here good and you can just go swing your hips a little bit side to side or back forwards, whatever works. Stay here a little bit. Make sure your hips are open enough to go into the full pigeon. Maybe you can just stay here the whole time. And if you can, just 
slowly come all the way on your elbows. Good. Ooh. Keep pushing left heel towards the floor. Nice. I can really feel it in my right hip. Good. Keep looking forward, pushing the chest to the floor. Hold. We will stay here for a little bit. Really opening our hips slowly. You'll thank me later for this, trust me. Especially with lots of sitting, we experience in our jobs or lots of sitting on the couch. Our hips are getting more and more tight, so this is a really good pose for releasing it. And if you can, if you're more flexible, you can even go all the way down with your forehead to the floor, maybe your chest to the floor, even wherever you are. Enjoy. Okay, one last deep inhale in there. And deep exhale. I'm really sweating from this pose. Okay, slowly, very slowly, very gently coming out. If you need to sit, come out. You can sit and come out. Whatever works for you, slowly circle. Your ankle, right ankle. You can come all the way to fall, all fours. Maybe circling the hip. Maybe circling both of the hips. Good. And... When you're ready, coming into all fours again. We're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll turn again, just so you can see. This time, it's the right foot, right knee that goes up. So tucking the toes in, right knee lifting up, flexing the toes towards the knee, and extending the knee, straightening the knee, hold. Ooh, this is a really tough side for me. Lifting a little bit higher, holding for five. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm shaking. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly placing into the floor. Toes are gripping the floor again. Lifting up, pushing the hips up. Good. Now, right palm comes on top of the knee or thigh, wherever it can go. Lifting your, raising your left hand all the way up and above the head, above your head. Reaching, leaning your body. To the right hand side. Nicely opening, stretching left side of the body. And slowly coming back. Left palm comes on the floor. Right hand reaches over the head. Imagine again somebody's pulling you and lifting right foot off the floor. Good lengthening the whole body and if it feels good bending right knee grabbing right foot or ankle with your right hand behind the back kicking the foot inside the palm and opening the chest tilting the head back maybe good hold hold for three hold for two and slowly, ooh, that was a nice crack. That was my knee. And right foot comes all the way to the floor. Both palms come down. And stepping left foot in between the palms. Gently placing right knee on the floor. I'm tucking the toes, good. And swinging forward, backwards. Hip side to side, preparing this side to get a little bit more stretched. Nice. Good. First, you place your palms on top of your left knee so the toes are untucked and lifting right knee off the floor. Ooh, good. Again, palms can be on the left knee or they can come off the knee if you have enough strength. Sinking the hips a little bit lower, hold. For three. Hold for two. And I'm slowly placing right knee on the floor. Good. And walking left foot a little bit further. 
to be one step to the left. Coming on the edge of the foot, placing the palms on the floor and walking the palms as far as you can on this side. Sinking this low. And if you can, you can come on your elbows. If not, that's fine as well. Just keep sinking the hips towards the floor the whole time. And keep looking forward. Imagine your chest wants to touch the floor. Good. Couple of more breaths. Slowly rise up. Right palm stays on the floor next to the left foot. Left foot is on the edge, as you can see. And pushing, left knee open, sinking deep low, opening your chest to the left hand side, looking up. Again, you, can you have option to stay here, or option to bend right knee, grabbing right foot or ankle. Pulling it towards your butt and slowly sinking the hips even lower. Keep pulling it the whole time. Good. Oh, this side is really tight in my case. If it makes you happy, you're not the only one in pain. One last deep breath. Slowly release, good, oh, nice. Tucking the toes in this time, palms come to the floor. Kicking your left foot up into three-legged dog. Deep inhale, and with the exhale, stepping left foot next to the right palm. Left knee comes next to the left palm. Knee comes down, untouching the toes. And we are on the pigeon pose on the other side. Good, flexing left toes towards the knee, and again. You can stay here for a little bit, swing very gently side to side. I feel like this side for me is even more tight than the right side. Very, very painful, which means I need it, and you need it too. All right, if you can, you can go a little bit lower, coming on your elbows, good. Try to really push the right hip towards the floor, squaring the hips, so making them parallel with the floor, good, and looking maybe in front of you, imagine your chest wants to touch the floor, maybe it can, if you are flexible enough, good, and even in this pose, even if it hurts, I want you to relax in it, try not to fight it and be all tense, try to really like, exhale and just let it go, and just feel how a little bit more deeper you will go. And if, if it's just half centimeter, one centimeter, it's always a progress. The more you sit, the more your job requires you to sit on a chair or the more you sit on the couch, the more your hips will tighten up. Because it's not very natural for human body to be in that position. Because the hips get tight, really tight here. And that's why we have all these issues with our lower back, our knees, even headaches. So even if you can do this every day, you will feel a lot of lots of difference happening in your body, positive difference. So if you can again go a little bit more lower, maybe placing your forehead on the floor, whatever works couple of more breaths in here. Okay, taking one last deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Let it go, good. And slowly, very slowly and gently coming out of this pose. Ooh. Again, if you need to, you can sit down. Ah, oh, nice. Coming out of here, oh, maybe circling your left ankle this time. Good. Come on all fours and again, circling one hip, circling another hip. Whatever you need to do after this amazing pose. And whenever you're ready, 
gonna give you a little bit of rest so toes together knees maybe hip distance wide and coming into the child's pose placing your forehead on the floor and I'll ask you to take your hands interlace them between your behind your back so between your back so interlace the hands behind your back and rest them on top of your hips and just relax Make sure to close your eyes in here and just enjoy the stillness and feel the difference in your body when you are in pigeon pose and when you are now in child's pose. How nice does it feel when all the pain, all the tension goes away. Take one last deep inhale in here. Exhale through your mouth. Good. You can drop your hands on the floor in front of you and slowly raise up, push yourself up, coming into all fours again. This time we'll do a few simple cat and cows, very slow cat and cows. So your palms under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Taking a deep inhale, dropping your belly, lifting the chest, looking up. And exhale, rounding the back, bringing the chest, the chin towards your chest, pushing the floor away. Okay, inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chest, looking up. And exhale, rounding the back, pushing shoulder blades away from each other. This time with the inhale, first the tailbone and then the belly and lastly the chest opening up looking up and with the exhale same thing we start at the tailbone so tuck the tailbone in roll the back slowly pull so we suck the belly button towards the spine round the back chin comes towards the chest pushing the shoulder blades away one last time inhale dropping the belly lifting the chest And exhale, round in the back, good. Take a slowly walk your palms a little bit more forward. And you will lower your belly down all the way. We come all the way to our bellies, nice, good. Last intense bit of the practice of today's practice. You will bend your knees, you will grab your ankles, good. Most of you probably know what's coming. You look in front of you, so you squeeze the shoulder blades together and kick the feet into the palms. So see already kicking the feet into the palms. It's lifting me, I'm not even lifting yet. And when you're ready, take a deep inhale and lift up. Good. Lift your knees as high as you can. Keep kicking the feet into the palms. Hold. Lift in the chest, look up, hold. For five, keep kicking for four, lifting a little bit higher, for three, for two, you should try talking and doing this, and one drop it down, good, drop your legs to the floor and shake the hip side to side, nice, we'll do one more time, okay, if you are ready, bending the knees again, grabbing the ankles, kicking the feet into the palms, deep inhale, and lifting up. Good. So that was my shoulder that cracked, if you could hear it. Hold. For three. Hold for two. And one release. Good. Again, dropping the legs on the floor and 
swing your hip side to side. Good. I personally really dislike this pose a lot. In general, back bends, not my cup of tea. And this is exactly why I should do them more. And you probably too. All right, slowly raising up. And you can sit down on your butt. Legs come in front of you. Good. You'll keep the right foot where it is. Right leg is straight. Left foot comes inside. Right thigh. Opening the foot towards the ceiling. Pushing the left knee down. Good. Trying to keep the spine straight. You reach towards your foot. So you can either grab your big toe or grabbing the foot. Or if you cannot grab anything, you can even grab your ankle. And this is my neighbor's drilling. So we might wait a little bit. Ah, they just stopped. Great. All right. They're starting again. All right. And I think they stopped. Okay. So whatever you're holding, I'm going to hold my big toe. If your hamstrings are really, really tight, feel free to bend the knee a little bit. It's even better for you. I'm going to bend actually a little bit because my hamstrings are incredibly tight. I'll grab my foot, bend the knee a little bit, put my elbow inside the knee. And with the inhale, reaching left arm towards the ceiling. And exhale, leaning to the right. The whole time pushing left knee to the floor. Opening the chest to the left. Good. And breathing. Should feel really nice stretch of your left side here. Again, feel free to close your eyes and just surrender to the stretch. Last deep inhale. And with the exhale, slowly coming down, yeah, coming up, coming out of the pose. Good. And simply, we're just switching the sides. So this time, left leg stays where it is. Right foot comes inside the left thigh, pushing the right knee towards the floor. And listening to my neighbor's drilling. All right, again, I'm going to bend the knee a little bit, grabbing my foot, elbow inside the knee. Inhale, reaching my right hand towards the ceiling. And exhale, taking it over the head. Every exhale, trying to go a little bit deeper. Surrendering a little bit more to the pulse. Again, one last deep inhale. And exhale, slowly coming up. Good. And you can slowly lie down on your back. Bring your knees towards the chest. One last time. Gently swinging side to side. Massaging your lower back against the floor. Come to happy baby pose, so go open your knees, flexing the toes, knees, like 90 degrees angle, and you'll grab your feet from the outside and pull your knees towards the floor. We'll try to keep our lower back on the floor, elbow onto the floor, and then pulling it down. Good. And again, if it feels good, last bit of the practice, feel free to swing side to side. Slowly and gently finishing today's practice. Good. 
Hallelujah. Very good. And can we put the feet together? Just hold the feet together. Bring them to the floor. And just relax the knees. So let the gravity just pull them down. Open the palms towards the ceiling. Place your hands on the floor. Relax your shoulders. Relax your head on the floor. And close your eyes. Coming back to your breathing. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And just take a moment of stillness here to reflect your practice today. Try to reflect how does your body feel right now comparing to the beginning of the class. How does your mind feel? And really just surrender your body to the floor, to the ground. And feel free to stay in here as long as you want, as long as it feels good. And I'll see you in the next video.